Hello everyone and welcome to the next video course from Expand Your Skills and this week we're going to be looking at the index and match functions which when used together are very much like VLOOKUP on steroids. And so I've produced here a very simple employee database showing a department, employee surname and their current salary. Let me make it a little bit larger, see if that's any help. Ooh, and then make that column bigger. And what I want to be able to do down here is make a selection which will produce both the salary and the department for me. So by selecting a surname in that box, it will automatically populate down here with the salary and the department. I've already set up my drop down list, as you can see. But what I want is to be able to put Davis in there and his salary and department appear below. Now, normally you ought to think about using VLOOKUP here, but that will only work, as I'm sure you're aware, if the column that you're searching in is on the far left hand side. And in this case, it isn't, okay? Because we're going to be looking for the names in this column and returning a result from this column. So it can't be done with VLOOKUP. And yes, we could shuffle the data around, but that's not uh, really practical in the everyday situation. So instead, we're going to use index and match. To do this, firstly, we'll use the index function. So start typing index, open the brackets, and you'll see the definition here is returns a value or reference of the cell at the intersection of a particular row and column in a given range. Again, lots of words to show a very simple task. Um, so I'll show rather than try and explain it. So if I open the brackets, it'll ask me for an array. And the array we're going to be using is this one here, because this is where our data is. It then asks me for a row number. Now, in this case, I know that we're going to be looking in row four. So one, two, three, four, that's where Mr. Davis is. So we'll type in row number four. And it's asking me for the column number. So his salary is going to be in column one, two, three. Type that in there. Press return and salary comes up 25,500. So that's perfect. That's what we wanted. What we don't want, of course, is to having to type in row number four manually. We need a function that will find it for us. Okay, and now this is going to be the match function. So we'll do this down here for the moment. So again, if I start typing equals match, you'll see returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specified value in a specified order. Again, too many words. Let's have a look. So I open the brackets. The lookup value. So obviously the value we're going to be looking for is Davis, or so in this box here, B12. The lookup array is going to be just this row here because we know where we're going to find it. And the match type is going to be exact. So zero for exact. If we press return on that, we get the answer of four. One, two, three, four. And if we change the name, De Burns comes up with number eight because he's the eighth row down. All right, so now all we need to do is copy this into our formula here. Oops. Into our formula here. So instead of four, okay, we copy the paste the match for formula in there, press return, and it comes up with the right result. And if, then if I just by locking these columns, or these cell references rather, so I want to lock that one, that one, uh, that one as well, and I think all of them in fact we need to be locked. Like so. If I just copy and paste that down to here then, obviously it comes up with the same result because this time, if you remember the index function, this number three at the end was the column function. So this time we're looking in column one for the department. Press return. So we're telling us Mr. Burns is in goods in. And he's on a salary of 24,500. Let's smarten that up a bit. Uh, let's put a grid around it. 
maybe format the pound sign correctly. And there you have it. So if we, oh, let's get rid of this eight down here as well, because that's just a demonstration. And then change the name, Mr. Payne. He's a manager. He's on lots of money. Uh, Mr. Davis on 25 and a half thousand. He's in goods in. So imagine, okay, a very small sample of data here. But if you had a huge list, this would work really quickly, really efficiently for you. So I hope that's been of some benefit. Um, always try and use index and match together. Don't be tempted to use VLOOKUP. Um, much more f power and functionality using index and match together. Just get in the habit of using it and it'll become second nature. Hope you found that useful. Um, please do subscribe if you want to see future videos on both Excel and on JotForm. And if you have any comments or questions to make, please leave them below. Thank you very much.